Hi, Swarthos here. Um, well, today started off, um, I had the mindset I was going to just stay home and sit on my butt all day and do nothing, as I have been. And then I get a phone call. The city needed the water company to go over to the homeless shelter that we're putting in, that they're putting in, and uh, make the connection good for them. We had already installed uh, a two inch line running from our main and had the uh, water connection ready to go, but they had some difficulty knowing exactly what to do or whatever. So we had to go over there and uh, finish it for them. So uh, I really didn't want to go outside. I did have to cross paths with one homeless looking person and another person. I don't know if they were homeless, but there's one person you can always spot like a homeless person. They got all their belongings with them as they're walking down the street. And this one was coming down the sidewalk and I hadn't put my mask on yet. And I got out of my Jeep and I had to go across the, the sidewalk to, to this lock box where they allow the, uh, utility companies to access, to get the key to go into the, to the building there. And, um, so this homeless looking person walked by. And so I held my breath and, and walked by. They weren't coughing or breathing heavily. I think they were eating an ice cream. It looked like they were eating a popsicle stick or something. So anyway, so that kind of freaked me out. Um, but then I, I got my N95 mask on. I had my gloves on. I had long sleeve shirt and went in there, got the job done. Me and this other guy. Um, so I was glad to get that done. And I didn't wear any cologne. A couple of days ago, I had mentioned that I was going to do a review on working man's colognes and what to wear while you're on the job and that sort of thing. And yeah, what do you know? I go out there and forgot to put any on, but I was so caught up and concerned with making sure I had my mask with me and my gloves and oh man, it's tough working doing like physical labor with one of those masks on because you know, it restricts your breathing and your, cause we had to do a little bit of digging and a little bit of lifting and uh, I got, it was difficult, but I kept my mask on the whole time. I didn't touch my face and, um, before I took my mask off, I took my gloves off and I used a hand sanitizer and then carefully lifted the mask off my face. And I'm home drinking green tea. I love green tea. I drink it by the gallons. But now I feel like I'm getting an ulcer. I think I said in one of my other videos that are, I don't know, I get my blog and my vlog mixed up. I don't know what I'm posting to wear, but one of the one or the other i had mentioned that i am manifesting every symptom known to man I, you know from pancreatitis to cirrhosis of the liver to having a heart attack to um oh what else have i had um now i think i got an ulcer um everything you know, oh, I had pink eye. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think I might have got that because I have a far infrared sauna that I like to sit in, which I think I'm going to sit in today because that's going to feel really good this evening when the sun goes down. Oh, sorry. I just had a, that's going to be nice. I'm going to go in there and soak it up. But I think maybe it dried out my eyes. Um, So, but I, yeah, I got this far infrared sauna and I sit in there. Um, so anyways, my eye hurt and I had all this stuff wrong with me. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I was back at the, the homeless shelter. Um, I actually took a selfie of myself while I was at the homeless shelter and I'll post that right here. Um, that's 
me. Um, you have to wear a hard hat when you're there. Even though there's nothing over your head, they have signs everywhere before you go in. This is a hard hat zone. You are required to wear a hard hat. So, I got the hard hat on. Um, I'm not wearing my mask there. There was nobody around. And um, so, yeah, got got that done. Um, and what else? Um, that's about it. Oh, yeah, I don't have the bottles with me. I probably should have brought them in. I might as well turn this into a cologne review, right? But you all know what I'm talking about when I say Old Spice, right? Or Aqua Velva. I think that's what people get, make a mistake because they think, okay, well, that's, eh, it's this old man, you know, he smells like my grandpa or, you know, that's an old person scent. Who's going to wear that to go out clubbing or whatever people wear cologne for? Well, that's true because it's a working man scent. You want to put, you want to bathe in um, Aqua Velva or Old Spice before you go to a construction site because you're working and you're sweating and men stink and so wearing the um old spice that kind of masks all that bad stench plus you you it also can help you to not be annoyed by other people's smells because you're smelling your own you know old spice so yeah, Old Spice, that's, that's a good, uh, that's a good working man. scent. Aqua Velva too. That's another one. You just, it's cheap, you know, get a whole big bottle, either one of those for like five bucks and you just dump it all over yourself and go to work. I, you know, right now I'm wearing Paco Rabanne Pour Ohm. That was in my quest to find that, um, whoop. Um, something similar to Donna Coran for Men Fuel, um, which I mentioned in another video and they don't, they don't make it anymore, but I was, um, at the airport and I went into their duty free, uh, fragrance shop. They have a, I don't know if it's certain, this was years ago. I went into their duty free fragrance shop and they had a sampler of this stuff called Paco Rabanne and I'm like, <laughs> Oh yeah, that kind of smells like that stuff. So I bought I don't know, three bottles of the stuff, and <laughs> so I, yeah, it's I don't know, it's all right. So I ordered some colognes um, off of eBay a couple days ago. So we'll see. I can't remember what I ordered. Um, I think I got Jovan Musk. Yeah, because I got a really, when I get the cologne, I'm going to do a really neat story on that, on how that particular cologne got me a girlfriend in 1979. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess I could just sit here and kind of ramble on, but. I don't think people watch too many of my videos past like five minutes. You know, I was told once a while back that, well, maybe if you stopped talking and just, you know, said a few things and then posted your video, you might get more viewers. And I was like, well, I didn't really do this to entertain anyone, but I hope people find it entertaining. I don't want people to be annoyed or put off by it, but it's mostly for me to just to have like a, a video journal of my life and things I'm doing instead of writing it into a book, which I do. Oh yeah. That was something I was going to do. I'm not going to do it now. Maybe I'll do two videos on one day. See how I feel. I am really tired right now. I was, I didn't sleep well last night. Um, well, I shouldn't say that I did sleep well last night, but I didn't sleep long enough. I went to bed late midnight and woke up early, like four 30. And like a dummy decided to get out of bed and go downstairs and have breakfast. Cause so I thought to myself, I thought, Hey, 
I'm not working today. I don't have to do anything. I can take naps here and there if I get tired. And I remember I sat down. I was either going to do play some Minecraft or some Destiny 2 or something on the computer. And the phone rings. And yeah, I ended up having to leave and go out into this. Um, what do you call it? Uh, contagion infested city. I'm in Los Angeles. Um, there's, there was a lot of people driving around. There's a lot of cars going by as I was out there working. Um, Oh, that was what, that's what I was going to talk about. Right. I was thinking about doing this when the phone rang, actually. I was playing Minecraft and thinking about what I was going to do for a video. Now I'll finally get to my point. Um, what I was going to say. <clears throat> um, I miss riding my bike on the bike path, but they've shut down all the bike paths. And the, when I'm talking about the bike path, I'm talking about the L.A. River. Oh, I used to love to ride up and down that L.A. River on my bike. And uh, you, can't, you can't do that anymore. You're not allowed to go there or parks or anything else. Um, so, yeah. I guess I'll end this video maybe with a scene of me riding my bike. I used to strap a camera onto the top of my helmet, a GoPro, and take off on the the bike path and you head all the way down to the uh if you keep going south on it it dumps you right out by the queen mary down there in uh, this little shoreline village they got it's really nice they got a lot of sh little shops down there and um you know ice cream parlors restaurants bars all that stuff down there it's kind of cool a friend of mine has a boat and Every once in a while, we get on that and head down to the bar. It's just an excuse to get out and go and get a uh, But, um, yeah. yeah, so that, that's, that was a fun thing that we were doing. That's the same that guy I was working with today. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll insert a our boating expedition. Our boating expedition out there. All right. Yeah. I'm ready. Thank you for watching.